John Adams and Thomas Jefferson, known respectively as the voice and the pen of the revolution. Both looked at the American Revolution and the American founding as a divinely inspired movement. Thomas Jefferson and John Adams stood and said, we must declare independence. Uh, they had a vision, they had foresight, they had inspiration. Uh, they knew that God needed a clean slate to begin anew. And so these were spiritual men who brought forth the purposes of God through the Declaration of Independence. They become very good friends. They write the Declaration together. They're brothers in, in almost every sense of the word, they're brothers. They call themselves brother. Thomas Jefferson and John Adams, they're friends at first. They were great friends. Great friends. And then they have so many disagreements that they start, yeah. they have a falling out. They tragically become bitter enemies. They have different ideas about how the government needs to apply certain principles. And then they stop talking to each other. There's, there's virtual silence between them. And years pass, decades pass, and, and nothing. And it's eating at both of them because they know that they, deep inside, they have this bond. Well, one day in their old and retired lives, one of the signers of the Declaration, his name is Benjamin Rush, he comes to John Adams and says, John, I had a vision and a dream last night. And in that dream, I saw a history book of the future. He reads a book, he sees somebody carrying a book, mm -hmm. um, uh, 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 of letters between these two, yeah. going back and forth. And in that history book, it tells the story of John Adams and Thomas Jefferson, how they were best friends during the revolution and then bitter enemies during the, the constitutional years. But then at the end of their lives in this history book of the future, they become best friends because John Adams writes a letter to Thomas Jefferson and Thomas Jefferson responds and they dialogue back and forth. He also said, by the way, in the history book, I saw that you both died on the same day, the 50th anniversary of the Declaration of Independence, which they did 17 years before this happened in the dream. That's what he saw written in the history book. And great truths are revealed for, for posterity in these letters. And so Benjamin Rush finishes giving this account. And he says, now John, write the letter, or, or you'll make me a false prophet. This prophetic dream was not an anomaly in the life of Benjamin Rush. Both John Adams and Benjamin Rush believed in and experienced frequent inspired dreams. Gifts of the Spirit were part of the fabric of their lives. And sure enough, just as Benjamin Rush's vision would indicate, the prophecy was fulfilled. Uh, Thomas Jefferson and John Adams become best friends again. And they do so, just as Benjamin Rush saw in his vision, through these letters. And they write back and forth to each other. I just love reading their letters. Uh, so typical of the men and their minds. Uh, brilliant exchanges. Insights in their minds of these two men that were essential to the founding of this nation. Now, Benjamin Rush says that these letters reveal truths. So what, what are in these letters that's so powerful? Well, amongst many other principles and ideas that are revealed in these letters, a testimony of the restored gospel of Jesus Christ is revealed. <laughs>